I love this city because you can do a lot of different kind of art. All the sounds, all the smells, all the people in this city brings you inspiration. There's a lot of contemporary art, there's a lot of murals, there's a lot of old art. There's beauty everywhere in Mexico City. I'm Felipe Barroso, I'm an artist and I'm a local guide. I was living in Guadalajara City, but I changed my place to here because this city is more amazing. There's a lot of art in here and you can find a lot more opportunities here for an artist like me. I made storyboard for cinema, for commercials, there's pointillism for points. I call my style of art linealism. I work with a, a real photo, but I change it and I start to paint the lines. This one here is Maria Sabina. It's a Mexican chamana. Maria Sabina brought a lot of mushrooms to the Beatles, so I paint this portrait for her. Local guides is a very good tool for an artist because you can find a lot of museums and you can find a lot of reviews from other artists. Being a freelancer, it brings me a lot of time to explore the city. This monument has a quote of Benito Juarez, between individuals and among nations, respect for the rights of others is peace. We are in the Museo Arte Alameda. They have a lot of contemporary art. This building was built in the 16th century, and this part used to be a chapel. It's like being outdoors all these kind of sounds. Nature, the sunlight. It relaxes me and makes me feel that I am in another place. Just walk up the top of the museum and it's a very good view. Street art, it's a very good way to experience the art in Mexico City. You just need to know where to find it. We are now on Doctor's Neighborhood. Let's check out the Toys Museum of Mexico City. Welcome to this crazy place. We are considered the largest toy collection in the world. The exhibition holds more than 55,000 pieces. Desde que era chico empecé a guardar cosas y yo no me imaginaba la cantidad de juguetes que había guardado a lo largo de 60 años. We try to exhibit the toys in a very playful way, the way we used to play when we were kids. This is the second hall of the museum. Here we have the temporary exhibition of Barbie, which is the largest in the world, $3,000. This iron mask was made in the late 40s. The pianist used to play the piano inside the mouth. And right now we are entering the fourth hall. This is uh, totally dedicated to the Lucha Libre, which is one of the most popular sports in Mexico. This museum is totally nostalgic. It's a very special museum that gathers the global childhood archive. You know? Now we are heading to the speakeasy place of the museum. No media has been up there. More than 70 artists around the world have been over here, spread the word by mouth uh, between the artists. Cristina Maya, Sasha No Existe, these are Overland from Chihuahua, Orestes, ella es de Noruega, ella es mexicana, pero vive en Los Angeles, Andoner. This is like a sanctuary for street art. Alegría del Prado, estos güeyes son compas míos. Sí, de Guadalajara, ¿no? Pareja, española. Sí, sí, sí very inspiring to be here looking at a lot of artists that I enjoy, that I know. This is one of the most beautiful collection of street art in Mexico City. You have to come. The muralist movement is the movement that Mexico brings to the world.
Here we are on the National University of Mexico. We are gonna take a look at great murals. This one, it was painted by David Alfaro Siqueiros. I like a lot because he makes sculpture and painting. This mural has been made by mosaics, a little piece of stone of different colors. It represents the knowledge, the life, the, all the cultures in, on, on America. This one also by David Alfaro Siqueiros, and it represents the students of all America. This is how art should be, free for the people.